The deputy premier has been heckled and booed by thousands of protesters outside state parliament. Political reporter Josh Murphy joins us now. He was there. Josh, many of these protesters are unhappy about coal seam gas, but today was more about broader issues as well. Well, Bill, these people rallying today were told before the state election that prime agricultural land would be protected from mining. It's now claimed that that promise has been broken. But things got quite uncomfortable at the rally today when the Deputy Premier Andrew Stoner addressed the crowd. He was heckled and booed, but then he told one protester to shut his mouth. Mass protests are becoming common on Macquarie Street. The crowd today from every corner of the state protesting coal seam gas exploration. Coal seam gas! No way! This issue is bigger than politics. Yes. They're fighting to save fertile land they believe mining will damage forever. It could well lead to uh, the demise of, of a multi-million dollar tourist industry. But the rally became awkward when the Deputy Premier and Leader of the Nationals took the stage. Andrew Stoner heckled by those angry about what they claim is a broken election promise. The government is listening to each and every one of you. And he snapped back. If you'll just shut your mouth for a, w for a minute, mate. Hey, listening to the leader of the National Party telling people to shut up just shows they're under pressure. The demonstrators want high-value farmland quarantined, but the O'Farrell government policy still allows mining exploration. So the process that we've arrived at at the moment, we think, is a good balance. Now, the O'Farrell government's policy on mining is still a draft, but the very fact the Deputy Premier spoke at this protest shows there's an obvious split in government and the community about how farming and mining can coexist into the future. Bill and Sandra. OK, Josh, thank you.